Welcome to CTV News Trendline with Michael Stittle and Nick Nanos. Do you see a, a risk of an early election here? And, and, and what do you think the future holds for them? Well, think of it this way. If you're Jagmeet Singh and the New Democrats and you're tied with the liberals, like what happens if, if the trend continues and the NDP pull ahead of the liberals? Then you're going to have a situation where you know, the, with numbers like this, where the conservatives are at 41 percent or have a significant advantage, whatever it might be, the conservatives obviously want an election as soon as possible because they want to have a smash and grab and potentially even win a majority. But if the new Democrats start to increase support or even pull ahead of the liberals, they're probably going to want an election, too, because, you know, the, the reality is, is why would they hitch their political caboose? to a party mm. that is in uh, third place. And uh, so, you know, I think it's going to be interesting to see what the trend line is in the closeout of 2023 and early 2024, because Jagmeet Singh might be thinking, you know what, I think uh, perhaps we will want an election uh, if uh, if the NDP think that they could uh, pick up seats and perhaps even come ahead of the Liberals. Uh, in in the past, when we've seen the Conservatives' uh, fortunes rise and, and the, the Liberals sink around, you know, to the support levels of, let's say, the NDP, when the NDP are around the same, um, the question always comes up, why don't these two parties uh, merge? Uh, what do you what do you make of that in this situation? Well, is this something we would ever we would ever see? Uh, do you think that something that these parties would ever consider? Well, I think there'll be speculation because, you know, the thing is, is that, uh, you know, last time when the numbers were similar between the Liberals and the New Democrats, that was the big discussion that the two parties should just merge so that there's one challenger to the Conservatives. You know, for the Conservatives, you kind of like it the way it is because your opponents are almost evenly split. Uh, it means that uh, the Conservatives, Conservative support, the way it's distributed could be even more efficient because the opposition will be divided and progressive voters will not be under under one uh, tent. Uh, the other thing is, is the Conservatives probably want things to be separate because as long as the Liberals and the NDP are at the same level, people won't know which party to vote for to block the uh, Conservatives. But, you know, the thing is, the interesting thing is that the Liberals have been, well, especially in 2015, they were the big tent that united the progressive movement when they won the majority. Less so since then. Uh, but, you know, I think for progressive voters who just probably want to block the conservatives, which is what they always want to do. Uh, I think there's going, I think that might be, if this trend continues, that'll be part of the mix of what we're talking about in 2024. Uh, you know, will progressive voters want to have more than a parlementary arrangement? Uh, but if you're the new Democrats, I'm not sure you're going to want that because your numbers are probably looking pretty decent.